Yesterday was one of the more punitive moments with, with uh, President Trump calling for negative rates. And I think that a lot of the, of what let's just call a lot of our watchers who are in the professional side of things, I think were unanimous in what was that about? That that's off the reservation. Uh, I think Jay Powell's now immune to it. I think it's interesting. I think it's happened. The attacks have happened so much that it's almost like, okay, uh, let me move on. And if, uh, I think that Jay Powell's no longer in the in the fix that I used to think, because the president is uh, the negative the negative rate thing. I think just doesn't resonate. So We're, our economy's too strong. Well, but, we don't want negative rates. No, our economy's it's a, strong. It's a poison. Ne some right, people would say. Right, and that's why I mean, like you know, go uh, look. You may want lower rates, and I understand that. Maybe you want five cuts. But it's, an, it's a sign of weakness. And I wanted to hear from Larry on that because Larry would tell you I think it's a sign of weakness. I thought the interchange between Larry and the president was very interesting because, you know, every few minutes he Larry you. Yes. Right? There was a Larry. Did you get that? He said, oh, no, Larry. And Larry's actually very uh, – the view of Larry Traces wouldn't want negative rates because it means the economy is weak. So y You would know that better than just about anybody. Oh, and Larry's kind of – you know, he's an economist. He's not – Right. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. This is what the president said at the Economic Club of New York. Since my election, the S&P 500 is up over 45 percent. The Dow Jones is up over 50 percent. And the Nasdaq is up 60 percent, slightly more. And if we had a Federal Reserve that worked with us, you could have added another 25 percent to each one of those numbers. I guarantee you that. That doesn't happen. But we all make mistakes, don't we?